Hi there. It's Professor Monty, and we're looking at simplifying powers of I. Now, one of the rules in math is I, the imaginary root, can't have powers higher than one in, in the answer. So if I do, I have to simplify it down. I've written down some keys to The biggest key is I squared is negative one. What we're going to try to do is we're going to get things in powers of I squared because I know what that equals. If I have I to the n power, that's I squared to the n over 2 power. I'll show you how that works in a minute when we do that, but I'm going to use that quite a bit. And then remember, I am the odd power. If I take one of those I's outside, it's going to leave with an even power of I's. So, and I'll show you that on the first example, it'll come in handy. Also remember, negative 1 to an odd power, negative 1 to the third, negative 1 to the fifth, is just equal to negative 1. And negative 1 to even power, say negative 1 squared, is just positive. Okay, the negatives cancel out in pairs. Okay, I'm going to use those keys to do these two problems. So I to the 17. I want that to be an even number, so I'm going to pull one of the i's out. So that's the same as i times i to the 16. That would be i to the 17, because remember we had the exponents, the 1 plus 16 is 17. But the 16 I want to get as an i squared. So I leave that i there. I'm going to do i squared, but i squared to what power is 16? Oh, that's got to be 8. And that was the n divided by 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8, because 8 times 2 is going to be the 16. But now I have an i squared. Because I know i squared is negative 1, I know negative 1 to the 8th power, since that's even, is positive 1, because those cancel out in pairs. So I have i times 1, which is just i. And that's my answer. i to the 17th is actually the same thing as i to the first power. All right, let's try another one i to the 42nd power. Well, it's already even. I can immediately go to this i squared. It's i squared to the 21st power. i squared is negative 1. That's raised to the 21st power. I have an odd number of negative 1's multiplied together, so they all cancel out except one of them. I get negative 1 as my answer, and I'm done. There's actually only four answers you can get. You can get i or negative i. You can get 1 or negative 1. If it's i to a odd number, it's always going to have an i at the answer, either positive or negative i. If it's i to an even power, it's either going to be 1 or negative 1. The i's will cancel out. Okay, practice these. Once you get the hang of it, they're not too bad. They're even a little bit fun, I would say. Hopefully you agree.